This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good morning, my Real News Media TV family. Thank you so much for tuning in this morning, and I'm wishing for everyone a wonderful and a productive day. And in the news this morning for April 1, 2023, opposition concerned about electronic warrants for outstanding traffic tickets. The opposition has raised the concerns over the move to introduce the electronic issuance of warrants for outstanding traffic tickets. The Senate yesterday passed the amendment to the Electronic Transaction Act, which will allow for warrants to be signed and issued electronically. The House of Representatives on Tuesday approved the act, which will facilitate the acceptance of electronic signatures in the court system. Opposition Senator Donna Scott Motley pointed out that a number of motorists had stated that they had already paid the traffic tickets which reappeared on the system. She says with the implications of a warrant, it is critical that the process be as foolproof as possible. Senator Motley raised a concern about what would happen if the system does not record that a warrant has been discharged. Opposition spokesperson on tourism calls for reduction in wait time in customs and immigration halls at Sangser International Airport. Opposition spokesperson on tourism, Senator Janice Allen, has expressed a great concern about the inadequacy of customs and immigration staff at the Sangser International Airport in Montego Bay to process passengers. In a statement on Friday, Senator Allen said the visitor experience at the MBJ Airport is being negatively impacted by very long lines in immigration and the customs. She said in recent weeks that the situation, particularly in the immigration hall, has severely worsened and many visitors have taken to social media to express their dissatisfaction and alarm. Allen said Jamaica's tourism product and its future booking prospects will be seriously impacted unless the issues are urgently addressed by the key stakeholders including the Ministry of Finance and the Public Service, National Security and the Tourism, as well as at the MBJ airport operators. Senator Allen said that in addition to staff shortage, there is an urgent need to shorten processing times so that the wait times during peak periods can be reduced from the unacceptable two to three hours to under an hour from start to end. The fact is that the entire tourism experience starts from the port of arrival and ends with the departure. Therefore, the first point of contact is critical in ensuring a positive start to the vacation experience, she said. As a result, Senator Allen urged the government, through its relevant agencies, to move speedily to find long-term solutions to this growing problem, which if not addressed will lead to increased visitor dissatisfaction and complaints. Evicted housemate on assault charges remanded. A St. James man accused of assaulting a woman damaging her motor car and threatening to kill her, has been remanded until his trial begins on April 21. Judging Green appeared in the St. James Parish Court on Wednesday, charged with assault occasioning bodily harm, malicious destruction of property and a threat. According to the allegations, the woman parked her car on Jimmy Cliff Boulevard around 7.30 p.m. on February 28 when she heard a banging on the vehicle. She glanced and saw Green who reached through the window and punched her on the right side of her head twice while threatening to kill her. He also hurled something into the vehicle's windscreen. As she drove away, she observed the damage to the right back door of the vehicle where the accused had been banging. According to court documents, Green called the complainant on March 17, saying, "Me must murder you, among other things. It is alleged that when he was held by the police, Green said, me call her because me want to talk to her to ask her why she called police on me. In court, Judge Sasha Marie Smith Ashley questioned the relationship between Green and the complainant, to which he responded, Me and her in a relationship, miss. But the woman denied this claim. Do you think that mediation is appropriate or do you wish the matter to be tried? Judge Smith Ashley asked the complainant. No, Your Honor, the complainant stated, indicating that she does not want to attend mediation. He attacked me multiple times, and I have multiple injuries. He attacked me about four different times. Every time I go to the police station, he threatened me in front of the police, saying he has to murder me. The complainant said, but Green denied this claim. 
So you're saying this isn't the first time you've received the repeated threats and attacks from him? The judge then asked the complainant. Yes, Your Honor, the complainant replied. Were you in a relationship? The judge asked. We were not in a relationship, Your Honor, the complainant told the judge. Green interjected at that point, saying, We were in a relationship, Your Honor. But the judge urged him to keep quiet because he had already had his chance to speak. The complainant then explained that Green was having some problems and that her husband had allowed him to reside in the basement where he had a separate entrance. Every day and every night he's up in the main section of the house and I did not feel comfortable about it because he stays there until late. I see it as a problem because he smokes ganja, the complainant said. According to the complainant, Green began touching her inappropriately and saying inappropriate things to her. She stated that she told her husband, who ultimately began to see things for himself, and that they both requested Green to leave. She stated that he became violent and that they had to call 119 for help to get him out. She went on to say that ever since then, wherever Green sees her, he attacks her and threatens to kill her. After hearing the complainant, the judge scheduled the case for trial and ordered Green remanded. Case dropped against the St. James man accused of attacking former friend who failed to heal him. Tandil Lamy was dragged before the St. James Parish Court on assault charges Wednesday after he allegedly attacked a man who walked by him without greeting him. It is alleged that on February 18, the complainant was walking past Lamy who was among a group of men, when Lame asked the complainant why he didn't heal him. During an argument, the complainant reportedly told Lame that he did not heal him because they were not friends. Both men picked up stones, and Lame's brother allegedly dragged the stone from the complainant's hand, bruising it. Lame and his brother then allegedly choked and kicked the complainant, who was also hit in the back with an object. When cautioned by the police, Lamy reportedly said, a mad one that you know. Responding to parish judge Sasha Marie Smith Ashley, both men admitted that they were once a friend. Have you worked it out already or you want to talk to the mediator? The judge asked the pair. We work it out already, the complainant said, and Lamy agreed. So what is the agreement between you now? You don't want to proceed? The judge inquired of the parties, with the complainant indicating that he was no longer interested in pursuing the case. Lamy then entered a not guilty plea in order for the matter to come to an end and the prosecution offered no evidence against him. It was not disclosed in court if Lamy's brother was also charged. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.